Yes. Okay, what I'm talking about here, and, and uh, this I didn't emphasize, I'm talking about something called a standing wave, all right? You're thinking about a traveling wave, all right? One thing I think I forgot to tell you the last time is that the wave function is, in general, a function of r, theta, phi, and time, okay? But um, what I forgot to tell you is that we were not going to look at the time dependence of these waves. And the reason is because we're going to be looking at a hydrogen atom as a hydrogen atom that isn't undergoing any chemical reaction. So it's electrons, or the electron of the hydrogen atom is bound to the nucleus, and, it's, and it stays there in a sense, right? It is stable. We're not going to be looking at the wave function as two hydrogen atoms come together and make a hydrogen molecule. Then, if we were doing that, we'd have to invoke the time dependence. But because we're going to start here by looking at a hydrogen atom, helium atom, et cetera, you know, an isolated, stable atom, there's no time dependence here. So we're actually looking at something called stationary waves, right? And, um, and that, that has no time dependence in it, okay? So this is called time independent or uh, um, stationary wave quantum mechanics, time independent quantum mechanics. There is time dependent quantum mechanics.